بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم باب مكروك برو it's a non touch bar and it's a low power the machine doesn't start at all <coughs> so first and first we want to take out the, the back cover to get an idea of exactly <coughs> what it is that we're dealing with The non-touch bars were only made uh, between 2016 and 2017. In 2018, uh, there was no uh, Apple didn't make it. It wasn't revised, so it was uh, it was discontinued in 20 uh, 2018. Uh, so basically, they, they made one 2016 and another one in 2017, and that was it. The next time they made um, the design of the non touch bar, because before then, um, Apple, the, the touch bars were four ports, and then the non touch bars are two ports. The next time they refreshed the non touch bar, they gave it, that was in 2019, they gave it two ports. Uh, the, frame, uh, the frame for the non touch bar looked very much identical, except the fact that um, it's a two port now, uh, um, except that the fact that even uh, it, it now houses a touch bar. The 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 2017 had no, had no touch bar the non touch bar which is where why we call it the non touch bar but the 20 when it was refreshed in 2019 um, it, it pretty much the same chassis but 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 then uh, 2019 you had a touch bar uh, you will have the option of a, of a touch bar and then uh, and then also with the 2019s uh, the 2016 17s the drives are detachable for the 2019s. The drives are sold that uh, the drives are sold out onto uh, the main board. Um, the, the 2016, 2017 touch bars they had the soldered um, soldered uh, RAM um, soldered RAM as well as soldered SSD. But this uh, this lines the non touch bars they still have the removable uh, drives. Okay, so the back cover is out. The next thing we want to do is we want to connect our charger to get an idea of uh, what it is. First and first, let's try to dust our machine. <clears throat> okay, let's connect our charger. So the reason why we're connecting our charger is because we do not see anything that would basically cause any type of threat to uh, to the machine. There's no signs of liquid, so we can uh, connect our charger. Let's see if we have haptic feedback on the, the charge pad. There is nothing. Now let's see what we have on our PP bus. Uh, while doing that, let us also disconnect. So first, let's disconnect the charger, and then. Uh, Let's remove remove our battery screw as we also disconnect the, the battery cable. The battery screw is out. Now let's see what we have on our PP bus. A black probe to ground and then okay yeah let us uh, let's open up the board view okay yeah here it's the board view the board view is already out already have the board view open so we we will be measuring for pp bus and the fuse here f70 f7 uh, 7000 just gonna move it a little bit closer So uh, we will be measuring for our PP bus on the fuse here, F7000, which is uh, it is this here, the, the main one here. Yeah. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, we have 0 0.44. Um, okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to 0 0.44. Um, let's see if we have a short on, 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 on that line. Before we take out our board, uh, let's say continuity. See? And uh, we don't have a short on that line. Okay? So the next thing we want to do is we want to take out our board. Just where we will be starting our troubleshooting uh, on, the, on, on this device is going to be the section of PPDCN. So we want to see if we have 20 volt or 5 volt on our PPDCN. That's where we will be starting our troubleshooting. Uh, this device, it's supposed to, the, the PPDC in voltage is supposed to be 20 volt and not um, not 5 volt. So if it's sitting at 5 volt, um, the device will not start at 5 volt. The, 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 the input voltage, which is the PPDC, it has to be 20 volt and not 5 volt. So the first thing we want to do is we want to see what it is that we have on our PPDC. Uh, I'm just going to open up the schematic for you guys to have an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, this, the, the, this is an 80-0840. Uh, here we go, 80-0840. Uh, okay, PPDC in, we can get our PPDC in on, uh, on the USB-C controllers, which are the CD3215. U3100 as well as U3200. Now let us search. Let's search U3100. U3100. Okay, so it says primary AC USB C port controller, which is UPC. When we, this is the, 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 here we see what it says, we need 20 volt. The voltage in has to be, has to be 20 volt. So the first thing we want to, we want to do is we want to confirm what it is that we have on our PPDC in, then we continue from there. Uh, uh, because if we do not have 20 volt, then pretty much uh, the board is not going to start. So. Uh, before we blame anything else, first and first, let's see if we have our 20 volt. Okay, the board is uh, it's out of the shell. Let's put the shell aside. <sighs> Okay, it's, uh, let's test our board. I like to test my board. Okay, now let's, uh, let's give you the visual inspection. Okay. Uh, nothing, nothing stands out. Uh, oh, okay. Something does stand out. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm not sure if you guys can see. Uh, one of the CD thirty two fifteen. It's it's, it's actually it's uh, it's uh see there is a mark there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's 
safe here. That would explain why we don't have any gold. So let's uh, let's just let's just confirm if indeed we have. Uh, let's see if we have twenty gold on that. Connect our charger. Switch our multimeter to voltage mode. Let's measure in uh, one of the cubes here. See what we have. Okay, let's see. So that is five volt, and then let's see on the other port. Okay, the other port is five volt. Let's see, do we have a PP342? 2.9, 3, okay. And uh, just confirm that again. Uh, PP device, PP device is 0 0.2. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, it's just, uh, so what we will do is we will just go ahead and uh, uh, let's see. Okay, so we can clearly see that this silica two fifteen here is damaged. So what we want to do is we want to replace that. We'll be using um, one of the CDU here as a replacement. But before we do that, let's just see if uh, this is uh, working. Let's see what we have on our PCBCA numbers board. Mm, that's also five volt, okay. Uh, mm. Mm, five volt, and then the other side. Okay, let's just confirm that uh, our charger is working. Okay, our charger is working. Uh, it's cold, it's kind of misbehaving, but that's fine. Uh, I, I, feel, I, I think the CD3215 should be fine. Let's just. Uh, yeah, I think I think it should be fine. Let's try it out. Let's uh, take one of the CDs. If it doesn't work, we can always grab from another board. Okay, um, I can as well check if we have a short on that uh, funny looking CD2015. Let's see if we have a short. Yeah, we do have a short. So I'm measuring for a short here in the output here, which is the LDO. I'm just going to show you guys. So this is uh, 
U3200, it's, uh, it's, it's the one that had um, a, a bond map. And then I checked here, U, um, I, I checked pin 53, which is uh, on P53, P2 underscore UPC, UPC, XB, LDO. And you do have a short on that line. So that is a short. So what we want to do is uh, we want to replace that. And hope that should be our problem. Okay, uh, let's put this out. That's the CD3215. Uh, we, we already have uh, the other one taken out from the Bruno board. This is our Bruno board. And this is the board itself. Wait, where is Okay, yeah, this is the one that we'll be using. That is the one that will be supposed to now. The next thing we want to do is we want to give it time to fill up. And then we can uh, check to see if we now have any bugs.
So first thing I want to say is I want to say if I don't have a show, because sometimes if it's not um, properly uh, seated, what will happen is the balls underneath the chip uh, will uh, obviously create a bridge on it, and then you will have a show. So what I want to do is I want to see if I don't have a show before I connect power to it. Okay, I don't have a short. So the next thing I want to do is I want to see if I have any changes. Switch I'm also to back to voltage mode. So we want to measure, let's see, we're supposed to have uh 3.3 volt here and then 3.3 volt here. So let's see if we have 3.3 volt in that section. Okay, we have 3.3 volt. Uh, and then the other one. Yes, we have 3.4, yeah, 3.3 volt. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now let's see what we have on our PP. Say what? Let's see what we have on our PP bus. Okay, PP bus is zero. That tells us that we are still having five volt on our PPDC in. Let's just confirm that. That we indeed have five volt on our PPDC in. Yes, we still have five volt on our PPDC in. Okay, now let's check the second port. Let's see what we have in our second port. Five volt. Uh, let's check the LTO. 3.3 volt, reading for two, 3.4 volt, uh, 5 volt, okay, 3.4 volt, okay, uh, so let's see, um, so the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to check again that let's let's just confirm that our CD2015 was properly installed because sometimes um, it is not sometimes you will find that it's not properly installed and obviously that will prevent and also sometimes it, it could be that the the CD2015 itself it's uh, it's it's faulty so let's check that again and see if that's the case. have uh, resolved it uh, give it time to cool up so what we want to do now is we want to test it again and see if it works if it doesn't work we will have to replace it and put in another one while we're waiting for it to cool off let's uh, try to prepare another city to 15 okay so we can grab one from here so one of this we can grab one of this First, let's uh, wait for it to pull up. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, that VIP is coming from L6, L2950, which is, uh, uh, which is going to go to the Thunderbolt U2800. Um, it's not supposed to be. I'll show you guys what we're supposed to have on that line. Uh, let's just compare. So this is another board. Let's uh, let's see what we have on. Let's see the measurement on L twenty nine, which is this one, L twenty nine fifty. So it's not beeping, but on here it is beeping. Okay, it was beeping at first, but now it seems. Uh, Okay, uh, hmm. okay, it doesn't seem like there's a show. What I can do as well is I can uh, just try that again, otherwise, I can't switch the water without it. Nah. Doesn't seem like a show. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, let's try it again. Switch to voltage low. Let's see what we measure on our output here. So here, 3.3 volt and then 3.4 volt. Let's see what we measure there. 3.3 volt, other one. 3.4 volt. Okay, now let's see what do we have on our PPDC NQs. Uh, it's still 5 volt. So, what we want to do is uh, um, we made we may just replace uh, both, uh, but before that, let's let's uh, replace the first. Uh, okay, yeah, let's 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 replace. Let's check the other port first. Okay, that's still um, five volt. Okay, let's see three point three, three point three. Okay. So let us replace the second, uh, let's replace the second CPC 15 and then, uh, yeah, let's replace the second one first. Then if it doesn't work, we'll replace the first one. Okay, that is out. Okay, let's now let's, uh, let's grab our CD to fifteen. So we're getting it from this board here.
Okay, so first we, we, we initially we replace it with 200. Now we replace it with 100. Uh, let's check that out. So uh, chances are that the, the, when you get to 200 blue, and then and then uh, probably um, the charger was a problem, and then they also use the same charger which is in the second port, which would then explain if the if the sec if the second uh, second one was also blown. Uh, so that is that is that is one possibility. The second possibility would be that the first U thirty two hundred that we installed is not um, is not okay. So what we want to do is uh, let's first try and then and see what happens. So uh, let's see. Let's quickly check to be sure we don't have a show. Okay, we don't have a show. Now uh, let's switch back to voltage mode. We have a, let's check our output here first. We have a 3.3 .3 volt, 3.4. Yes, that's present. And then on the other one, 3.3 .3 is present. Let's see what we have our PPDC in. But VDC is still 5 volts. So what we want to do is we want to remove the first one, which is this one. Let's remove it. Okay, that's installed. Now U thirty two hundred has also been. Uh, we have now um, replaced U thirty two hundred again. So what we did was, we uh, we had uh, taken another U thirty two fifteen to replace U thirty two hundred, and then we tried it. We didn't get our twenty volt. We then replaced U thirty one hundred, and then we still didn't get our twenty volt. So what we did, what we're doing now is. The, 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 the UCD 3015 that we took out from here, we are now bringing it here. So, yeah, so let's, uh, let's, just, let's see what we have now. Give it a bit of time to cool off. And uh, also, I am, uh, I am, um, I'm also um, aware that there are requirements for the CD uh, for the 20 volts to be um, to be present. So um, so far, I can confirm that indeed I do have my PPDC in. Obviously, I can confirm that I have my PV3 port, which is uh, pretty much required. And then the next thing I want to be doing now is I'm going to be checking, for example, our 1.8 volt uh, DAC uh, and then SM bus. Uh, SM bus, this I did confirm that it's present. People they say I did confirm it being present. SM bus, I confirm I, I will have to confirm if that is present. Uh, yeah, and then also pretty much I uh, I just also made sure there is no short anywhere uh, on or around uh, the circuit for CD thirteen fifteen. Okay. So now let's uh, let's try again and see what we have on our PPDC in. Do we have our three volt? Yes, we do. Do we have our three volt? Yes, we do. Now what do we have on our PPDC in? 
Okay, now we have our 20 volts. That's great. I'm just going to switch it for you guys to see. Uh, that is 20 volts. So that is 20 volts. So um, that fixed it basically. So that is 20 volts. That's 20 volts on one port. And then on the other port, let's see what we have. And that is 20 volts. Okay, so uh, pretty much so. So U3200 was uh, obviously we, we could see that U3200 was blown. So we replaced U3200. However, uh, what, what, what we replaced U3200 with was um, CD3215B03. Uh, and what was on the board was CD3215C00. So when we took this out to replace with B03, uh, it didn't work. Um, and then we thought, okay, maybe this would have this would have been affected in the process. We took this out to replace it, and it still didn't work. So what? And then we, we replaced this with C00, the two last alphabets. So the next thing we had to do was I'm just going to show you guys. Um, so what I mean is. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, so. So we replace the first CD. I'm just going to go back. Let's see. So we replace the first one, uh, which uh, I suppose the one we used didn't work for it. So that's why we didn't work. And then we took this one out to replace it. It still didn't work. With that, we then moved this one to this and then remove this from, from, from the line and then it worked. So um, now that we have 20 volt, uh, we suppose the machine should be starting. Let us clean it and check to be sure the machine is starting and then we continue.
we are going to now go I want to put back the the one that I used the first time that didn't work. I will put it back to where I took it out from. Um, this is the faulty one that I need to return on. Now let's see if our machine is starting. Let me at least put the battery screw and the battery screw and one more screw just to hold the board in place.
Okay, now let's see if uh, our board is starting. I hope it's, it is starting. Connect our charger. Okay, it's connected. Okay, we have trackpad feedback. We're hoping to have a feedback concern. Okay, we have fan spin, fan spin, and that is an output logo. That's it, guys. Thank you. And uh, that will be the end of our video. So this is going to go into our testing. Um, then the machine will be finalized, put together, and then the client can be informed to pick up that device. Thank you, guys, and then I'll see you in the next one. I'm just going to um, update the ticket and then we can move on to the next repair.